Hi everyone, Jamie Vaughn here for Singing News and I am here today with Ernie Haas to talk about his new project, a new streaming show called Friday Night Sing. Hi Ernie, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. Oh, we're so excited about the Friday Night Sing. <laughs> how is that? Um, promotion, hey. huh? <laughs> Branding's very, very, very important. How do we get one of those mugs if we want one? Is it on your website? Absolutely on the website. Yeah. You know, I, uh, matter of fact, I went on, um, I went to the grocery store to get some turkey and I had, you know, one of the new apparel that we have. We got Friday Night Sing coffee mug, Sherpa blanket, <laughs> t-shirt, face mask. And then uh, on the first episode, we had a t-shirt made that said, God heal America, say God bless America. And it has mm -hmm. the United States and with the flag on the top of it. So we had a whole segment about that. So nice. I went and I said, I went to the meat counter and I said, I had my shirt and I said, I'll take two pounds of low sodium turkey, please. And the lady just said, what? I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm watching, I'm looking at your shirt. God heal America. She goes, that's wonderful, that's, that's it. I said, yep, that's it, that's a good prayer to pray. Where can I get that? I went, I'm glad you asked, <laughs> earninghoss.com. <laughs> So now we know that you have merchandising as well with this new show. So Friday Night Sing is a show you, is it only on YouTube or can, can fans find it somewhere else as well? So we are doing it simultaneously on our YouTube channel as a premiere and okay. then our Facebook fan page as a live stream. Okay. So okay. with all of the uh, elements that, um, and the, and the hoops, that, the technical hoops we have to jump through to, to make these things work from everybody's living room. Right. Uh, I, I'll pre-record it, and mm -hmm. then that way we don't have to be sweating bullets like I yeah. used to. Yeah. Uh, and it's a lot of it's it's beautifully done, very well put together. I'd love to hear how it all came about, where your vision for this new show came from. Well, um, just like everybody, when when things started shutting down, uh, you. For a minute, you feel like you lost your purpose because we, there's a great book by Timothy Keller called Every Good Endeavor. Mm -hmm. um, really, the original glory of man before the fall was we were working. We were tending the garden. You know, we were made to work and a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, six days a week. Yeah. <laughs> One day of rest. So, but you know, it's like everything else, you can get, you know, too attached to what you do. And so, um, after everything's kind of shut down a little bit, I started asking myself some tough questions. Like, was, was I too attached to this? And was my identity in that? Was it even an idol? You know, so all those things were coming to me. And, and through a lot of prayer and process, I um, was able to let go and mm -hmm. say, if this is what God wants, then I, I'm fine. I just know he's never left his children begging for bread or forsaken. That's, that's, that's his promise. And so I was sitting right out there in the, uh, on the patio and I was like, Lord, I'm letting go. What do you, what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. And it was just like, he just told me, he's like, you're already doing it. You're mm -hmm. creating community. You're doing these little one-off songs. Cause we were po promoting the, uh, the gate or something right. beautiful project that you and I talked about right. and just doing one-off songs from our living room. He goes, just do that and do more of that and talk to my people. So that's where the Friday night scene started. We took about two months off and to, finish the thought process, the vision of what does this look like? And so okay. now um, by the time this airs, probably we'll have aired three shows and we're going to do uh, 16 weeks starting September 11th, okay. all the way to December 25th, Christmas day. So um, I'm right in the middle of it all and I'm enjoying, I feel like God's given me a whole new vision for what could be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where do you pick your songs from? I noticed that the first theme was a patriotic thing. This last week was happiness. Mm -hmm. How do you pick your themes and the songs? Um, honestly, this sounds so corny. They pick me. <laughs> uh, I've got, you know, so I've got this extra time. I've got all of these recordings mm -hmm. of signature sound. I mean, almost 19 years mm -hmm. of recordings that I've never went back and even listened to. I'm, once, I'm always moving on. And then another 15 years of music I've made with the Cathedral Quartet and with the Old Friends Quartet, with the Gaither. So I've had a chance to go back and take a look at all these things. And then cleaning out the basement, I got all these VHS tapes of performances with the Cathedrals, Old Friends, Gaither, early Sig Sound stuff, um, early Cathedral stuff before I was even there, uh, early uh, Ernie stuff when I was with my show choir in, at Castle High School and my 50s review band, the Hootie Hoots, and the Nobleman Quartet. So I got all these archives. Yeah. 
So they just started talking to me like, you know, make one episode about liberty. And then each week, the second one was about happiness. And then so all these things started finding me. And so that's what we're doing each week. The third episode will be about fear. So we'll sing songs that will speak to our fear and how we're able to pray away our anxiety. So um, I, I've just, I really have been working harder than I've ever worked before in my life. And I'm not saying that. This has been a challenge. I understand. But, uh, but this has given me a whole new vision. And, and I told my guys, I said, hey, listen, we can go sing two or three times a month put ourselves at risk, maybe put our fans at risk and sing maybe to 150 people. Right. You know? Or right. we could do a Friday night sing and sing to a little bit more and broaden our, our crowd. And, and Jamie, it's been overwhelming. It's just like if you add the numbers up um, and probably 50, 60,000 wow. people watching every week. And so uh, I don't so think that people hurt could that ever see you in public. So it would be way more people than would ever see you in public at one of your shows. So you have to ask yourself, what's the spirit saying here? And right. I think this is what he wants for this time. Mm -hmm. So you have some really special and fun guests coming on. You want to tell the viewers about that? Yeah. Yeah. So every episode, of course, it's the guys. It's uh, myself, <laughs> Devin McLeary, Dustin Duell, Paul Harkey, and then um, – Todd Vestal on the piano, Wes Jones on the bass, and Kelly Vaughn on the acoustic guitar. And then every week we'll have a special musician guest, Jeff Taylor, Leif Shires on the trumpet. Jeff Taylor was playing the accordion. So every week we have a special musical guest. Mm -hmm. And then I try to have a special uh, guest that will either sing or speak or both. Mm -hmm. And so this next week will be uh, Mr. Gaither. We'll, get in the, we'll end the show with Because He Lives. And he sets it up and he speaks about fear. Oh, it's so touching. I can't wait to see that. And, uh, uh, we got an episode coming up where we have uh, a classical Grammy Award winning celloist. Her name is Sarah St. Abrogio. Mm -hmm. She has played the world uh, with classical music all over the world. And so she joins us in Love Took His Breath Away, plays a cello from her apartment right there in the epicenter of COVID, which was Manhattan. And, uh, and so there's just a lot of great things going on that we're able to collaborate. Mm -hmm. Probably never would have been able to collaborate uh, any other way than right. time for this. Yeah. yeah. So are we going to get to see a Christmas episode with your normal Christmas show that you usually do that most of us don't get to go see? Yes. Yes. So 16 episodes and then um, the uh, 12th episode will be um, about Thanksgiving because that will be on the Friday of Thanksgiving. And then after Thanksgiving, the next four weeks will all be Christmas. And uh, I can't wait. I, got, I told the guys, you know, get ready to put on your red velvet jackets. And yeah. we, all, we all tried them on last week and we're like, we're going to have to lay, lay off the hog and ice cream for a couple weeks. <laughs> I understand. I completely understand. Yeah. Well, you know how much I love your Christmas albums and I cannot wait to see the Christmas shows. That's really exciting. Um, so every week, what day of the week will they be coming out on? Yes. So we air 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and that will be, like I said, on our YouTube channel mm -hmm. and our Facebook fan page. And the best way to find that is just to go to earninghaas.com. We've created a new um, tool at the top of our menu, and it just says Friday Night Sing. You can go there, and you can actually watch it on our website. Mm -hmm. It's just embedded there from, the, from our YouTube channel. And then we're archiving. Uh, that's one thing that I've enjoyed is, is binge watching some some uh, episodes on TV. So you see how it's season one, episode one, two, three, four, five. So all these thumbnails of your episodes. And that's what we're doing with the Friday Night Sing. You can go there and you can see, uh, you can watch it. And then you can also see the, the episodes that you've missed. And, and then share that with your friends because honestly, uh, the best promotion. I mean, if, if I had enough money to take out the front page in, in the Wall Street Journal or the USA Today, still wouldn't mean as much as uh, dear people sharing that with their friends and saying, hey, this might right. be something you need to hear. So. Yeah. so Ernie, last time we talked, you left our viewers with a message of hope. And it's been a few months. I was wondering if you wanted to do that again, if you had something else to tell everyone. I do. As a matter of fact, um, I remember that episode um, talking to you. And it's good to say that here we are three, four months later. And I still believe that. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, when, when Lisa and I were driving last week, I, went, I got a chance to, to leave Ohio and go see my niece, Carly Haas, uh, exchange vows with Marty Corsi, and they got married. 
and it was a beautiful thing, but they had to adjust mm -hmm. so much because of this COVID thing. And then the morning of their wedding, her grandpa, my sister-in-law's daddy passed away. So I, I watched them and I'm like, they're making the best of it and they're happy, but I'm so glad. And I totally said, they're going to make it because they're friends. Yeah. You know, and I think I, that's one episode we're recording this week. And I want to leave that message of hope with people. Uh, in the garden, Adam had a perfect world. There was no sin. Everything was great. What did God say? It wasn't good for him to be alone. Mm -hmm. He needed a friend. And, and I'm so thankful that in this time, I can honestly say that Lisa is my best friend. This December, Jamie will be 30 years for Lisa. Congratulations. And, and, and our marriage uh, has been through a lot. Mm -hmm. But I can say we have a friendship. And that's what I would say to people out there. Maybe, maybe uh, through all of this, you realize what is essential. Mm -hmm. Your friends, and I hope it is your, your spouse. And if it isn't, I hope it's somebody in your family. Mm -hmm. But if it isn't, somebody around you, uh, take the risk, be a friend so that you can have a friend. And then at the end of it all, remember, Jesus is that friend that you're still looking for. And without him, uh, we would be lost. We'd be hopeless. And, and just think of this too. One last thought. In the beginning, before the garden, there was God. We believe as Christians that in a, tri a triune God. There was God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Well, everything was perfect with them too. I, keep, I, I can't help but think, what did they want? friend us <laughs> and they moved to heaven and earth to create us and to redeem us and so in these times just remember you need friends and you need the friend of all friends because that's why he created you in his image he's reaching for you he loves you and he's the friend you're looking for so embrace it so good Everyone make sure Friday Night Sings now through December. It'll be a great way to end your week. And Ernie, thanks so much for stopping by and talking to us. Jamie, thank you. And uh, thank you for caring. And thank you for uh, actually listening to our music. I, I, I really do appreciate that. You're very welcome. You're I hope welcome. it's a blessing to you. And I hope, I hope you realize that your labor is not in vain. Also, you're, you're helping us get the word out. And so thank you for your time. Thank you very much. You're very, very, very welcome. My pleasure.